Digital art can be rather impressive, and when you see images like the one of this crazy scientist, you might wonder as to how such a character can even be created. This is where so-called speed paintings or speed sculpting videos come into play. These videos show the process at a significantly faster speed, allowing you to look over the artist's shoulder and witness the creation of the character in a couple of minutes. So, in this tutorial, we are going to explain how you can create such a speed painting or speed sculpting video with Camtasia Studio 8. Christian Rambo, a 3D artist from Berlin, Germany, has kindly offered the recordings of his crazy scientist for us to use in this tutorial. Check out the links at the end of this video to learn more about Christian and watch more of his videos. The recording. The process is rather simple. One records their screen with Camtasia while working on an art project in ZBrush, Photoshop, or any other application. The application should be set to full screen mode to avoid dialog windows from getting cut off. It also guarantees that the recording dimensions will stay consistent, making it easier to combine multiple recordings into one project. It's also advisable to record longer projects in multiple sessions or pieces. This optimizes the available CPU and results in smoother recordings. 30 to 40 minutes max per recording is recommended. When the piece and the recordings are done, it is time to combine, optimize, and speed them up in Camtasia. The editing process. The Crazy Scientist was recorded in three sessions, and therefore I have three recordings in my clip bin. First, I'll drag them into my timeline in the right order and verify that I'm using the right editing dimensions. 1280 by 720 is always a good choice. Next, I'll check if there are any parts of my recording that need to be removed, such as save as dialogues, long breaks, or any other applications that might be shown. Select the infringing segments with the playhead and choose cut to remove them from your project. All good. Now it's time to speed things up. Select all the clips on the timeline, make a right mouse click, and choose Clip Speed. How fast should the video be? That's a good question. I usually start out by entering 300% to see the new duration of my video in this field. I'm aiming at less than 10 minutes, so this is still way too high. Keep adjusting the value until you're happy with the result. Alright, let's take a look at the video in the preview window. This is already looking pretty good. As a note, depending on your computer, the video might lag or jump a little in the preview. But don't worry, this is just in the preview. The produced video will be smooth. So that's the basic process for creating a speed painting. There are a few more things we can still do to further improve the video. Here are two rendered images of the scientist which I would like to show at the beginning of the video. I drag them onto their own track on the timeline and adjust their length to two seconds each. Next, I hold down the shift key while dragging the video clips to the right, creating a gap which will perfectly fit my images. Bingo! I also have the logo of the artist, which I will place at the end of the video. Let's add a few transitions. Almost done. One thing that is still missing is background music. The Camtasia library offers a variety of pieces, and I add the one I want to my project. Since it's not long enough, I'll add it a second time and overlap them by about two seconds. By blending one of them out, while the other one is blended in, I can create an audio transition that will appear almost seamless. The Production The video is ready to be produced, or directly uploaded to YouTube. This might take a few minutes depending on the length of the recordings, so grab yourself a drink and watch one of our other tutorials, or maybe one of the other speed sculpting videos by Christian Rombo. And that's it. 
If you find this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks, and until next time.